Greetings, Internet, and happy Halloween, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and also a comedy music fan. This show is basically me reacting to brand new comedy music videos from a comedy musician's perspective. Not just a comedy musician, but also a fan of comedy music. Uh, and that's why I'm doing these videos uh, from this perspective, because it's what I'm a huge fan of and also what I do. Um, I'm also reviewing new videos. I've seen a lot of comedy music videos, most of what's out there. So, if you ask me to see an epic rap battle of history and do it on this, I've already seen it. This is for first impressions. Since it's first impressions, that also means maybe I might miss something. This is what I feel when I'm watching it for the very first time. This is my honest reaction to it and how I'm perceiving it in the first reaction. A first impression, if you will. A first e-impression, if you will. Which is a different show that I used to do, occasionally might do still. Regardless, these are going to be first impressions and therefore I might miss a few things. So, it's my first time watching it. If you leave me a comment that says, oh hey, what about this? I probably caught it on my second viewing or whatever. But regardless, that has nothing to do with anything. Today's episode is the brand new epic rap battle of history. And since I'm recording this on Halloween, and hopefully it goes up on Halloween, I'm watching their Halloween episode, which is Vlad the Impaler versus Dracula. So I'm going to click play now because that is what happens in the video. And of course, the link will be in there for you to check out the video yourself. Yeah, let's see what I think. Mm, stuff. Of course. Lloyd is Drac? No. I should take that back. It's Peter as Drac. Lloyd is Vlad, so, so, take it back for a second, sorry. <laughs> you call that a nightmare, I call that a Tuesday. With that hat, he looks like Bison from Street Fighter, so it's a, kind of a callback to that, kind of? For you, it was the worst day of your life. For me, it was a Tuesday. Some clever puns. Uh, the, the, uh, the Count Chocula line, obviously, they're gonna go with that, plus it's a popular Halloween thing, so, yeah, Dracula, Count Chocula, it works. And stepping on Ottomans like I was furniture shopping. That's, that's a good line. Uh, I mean, it's a pun, so, you know, it's decent, I like it. The beat's fire, though. I really like the beat. He calls it Fogo de Chao, which is what I call it, but I've heard it pronounced many different ways. I don't know what is right, but Fogo de Chao is how it's spelled, so it works with the rhyme that way. It's fine. This might still work after that blah blah blah. Check one, two, ah, ah, ah. Alright, we've got two typical Dracula jokes. The blah blah blah, which is blah blah, you know, it's the Hotel Transylvania thing. I don't go blah blah blah. And the ah ah ah, which is the the count from Sesame Street. They're going for all the A-game material in this one. Uh, the flexible 
speeding proofs and can't vex me Cause I nibble necks and I make it look sexy I'm universally known for intrigue and desire I shape shift into mist and bone with all the riders <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's a callback to the uh, the Bram Stoker's Dracula from Francis Ford Coppola not not a not a bad reference. They're going to go through all the Draculas in history, obviously, and 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 well, film history probably, and and TV and pop culture history, obviously. Uh, Vlad the Impaler was actually a real person. Uh, whether or not he was Dracula or not is hotly debated. Um, I think the Bram Stoker's Dracula movie is the one that referenced that Dracula was Vlad the Impaler, but I don't think that's actually in the book. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I heard that. Cinemassacre did a thing on all the different versions of Dracula and which ones were close to the books, and I watched that a while ago. That's the other thing. I don't do a lot of research going into these, because I, you know, who, when going to see a battle, looks up the battlers on Wikipedia before, guys, don't start. Let me look you up first. Nobody. I know what I know about them, and if I miss something because of that, or don't get something be that I mi you know, whatever, eh, it's fine. Okay, back to this. And Rice wrote the vampire books, Vampire Lestat, etc. Missed. So far, after the first round from each of them, it's only kind of okay. Eh. Your skills like your reflection, it doesn't exist. That's that's the first good line. Everything else was kind of okay. That's the first actual decent line, I think. Take it back slightly. Skills like your reflection. It doesn't exist. Turn your tank to a dis. And put a stick through ya. See that sucker this soft. Sick funicula. We try control. Bunicula? That's a vampire bunny, right? Sure. Dracula, you're smoking Dracula. <laughs> Rap like I'm Shakula? I don't know if that's something we one would want to brag about. Just saying. Vlad to the bones, not a bad line. Vlad the hat nailer. No. Vlad the rhyme slayer? Maybe. We'll see. Ew. Bat half a battle. That's a decent line. I liked it. Vlad so far is winning barely, but it's not even a fight, honestly. I did not know that you could read. That's great. Now let's see if you can bleed. The sun could kill me. Not true. I'm the vampire so cold they call me Nosferatu. My syllable delivery is devilish. Me intricate. Okay. I will say, in his first verse, some of his rhyme and flow, Dracula's rhyme and flow, was a little bit better, but the lines weren't spectacular. Dracula. See, I can do it too. Um, wasn't wasn't a bad one. His last verse, he definitely got some better hits in. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know, it's, uh, the, the thing about Doctor, uh, bringing in Renfield from, from the Dracula lore and, and Dr. Seward, uh, from the Dracula lore, that was good. Uh, rhyming Seward with Skewered, decent. Doctor, 
turns into a bat. Oh, and we got some Castlevania action there. Obviously some Castlevania action because Castlevania is amazing and my favorite vampire history stuff. So yeah, that was the that was the thing. That was the battle. Um not the best one. I probably will watch it again and maybe get a, a better feel for it, but as far as first impressions go, wasn't as impressed with that one. It's kind of weak. Their flow was kind of like, I guess because of the beat, it was kind of lazy. Both of them were kind of laid back as far as battling each other. None of them were really like hyped to get into each other's faces, and if you're doing a rap battle, you kind of want that. But, uh, you know, it wasn't terrible. But it definitely wasn't the best one either. Uh, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. You're going to do that whether I ask you to or not. And, uh, you know, if you like what I do, uh, maybe check out my channel. See what else is on here that, that you might like. Maybe consider subscribing to my Patreon, where my Patreon subscribers usually get these videos ahead of time. They didn't get this one ahead of time because... I'm recording it on the day that I'm posting because I was out of town for a week. Uh, but I also do music videos, my own comedy music. I just posted a brand new video of that. That'll be linked at the end here. And, uh, you know, subscribe. Do all the things that you do. Thanks, everybody. Happy Halloween. Uh, I'm operating on very little sleep. Holy crap, you guys. Are you all okay? Who the fuck this field trip would turn out this way? When we left today for this factory. Never thought this would be our final rest. Place. You know, we were so surprised when we found this place was built on ancient burial ground. But the teacher didn't really seem to fear when couples from our group began to disappear. First grade.